Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my next Blight Reaction video, Legends of Chima Season 3, A Very Slippery Slope! Whoa! So I hope the Tribes of Chima finally made some spike shoes, because otherwise I've, this will definitely be a very slippery slope. <laughs> In last week's episode, Lavelle was made King of the Lions because his father was kidnapped by the Ice Clan. Unfortunately, things didn't go very well. In fact, they went pretty horribly because the hunters decided to attack the Lion Temple again. And unfortunately, uh, Sir Fangor kind of played him pretty good. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, things didn't go too well. But fortunately, with the aid of the Phoenixes, the uh, Lions were able to repel the attack. So, roar! Unfortunately, Lionella was captured. <laughs> so poor Lavelle has lost his father and his girlfriend and nearly his kingdom. So, so everything is just great. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the Ice Temple is slowly moving towards the Lion City. And once it does, it will crush the Lion City. Then it will be game over. <laughs> So yeah, everything's great! <laughs> so poor Lavelle, things are definitely not going very well for him right now, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what happens in this episode and see if things get better or if they get worse. Maybe a little of both. <laughs> so, time for our next adventure, The World of Chiba, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In the magical world of Chiba, Lagravis's capture has left Lavelle in charge of the Lion Tribe. Yes, it has. But the King thing is not easy for him. No. He would rather free his father. Roar. He wants action, and he gets it. Yes, he does. The hunters launch a brutal assault on the Lion City. Oh no, run! Oh. The Phoenix come to the rescue. Roar. Ugh. But not before Lavelle's special friend, Lyella, Ugh. is also captured. Special what will her father, Tormac, say? These are the legends. I think you'll rip the shreds. <laughs> Episode 36, A Very Slippery Slope. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yep. Yeah. Lionel's father, father will not be happy. I, I, it was nice knowing you, Lavelle. <laughs> uh, 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 clean up duty again. Uh, uh. Thank you all for coming. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so we'll sorry. We'll find our parents, Lavelle, and Lyella too. We're strong, Lavelle. Lion strong. <laughs> We're running out of time. The Hunter's Glacier will reach our city in a matter of days. Stop that. <laughs> Focus. Uh oh, sorry. I just love this blue frosting. Uh, actually, we switched to a type of wet uh, blue chalk. Mm, Yuck. Wet blue chalk. <sighs> Uh, anyway, right. <laughs> we can't fight this mountain of ice. If it hits our city, we're finished. They'll Bummer. control the chi, and then they'll launch an attack on Mount Kavora itself. Uh. You know this for sure? Or yes. did Bird Girl just have another vision? My visions haven't been wrong yet. Uh. These hunters pretty much beat us without their massive mountain. Next attack will only be worse. We mm. need to stop that thing. Yes. And I know just the place to do it. Oh. The Grand Archway Canyon. Think of it mm. as a massive pathway ah. right in the glacier's path. A few days ago, I asked the beavers to fix this pothole. <laughs> they built a massive camouflage cover over it. Mm. Clever. I like it. The hunters are in for a very, very deep surprise. Mm. Once it tips over, we send a small force up its backside. Free everyone in the so-called trophy room. My dad, the crocs, bears, and Lyella. <laughs> That's your plan? The big mountain falls into a booby trap? And then you sneak in the back door? You must make it so. Huh? What? Uh oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tormac? How do you get in here? More importantly, are you okay? The coward who took my daughter shall suffer the merciless savagery of a father's rage. <laughs> yeah, he will. His misery shall echo across the ages. No. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I was just gonna say let's kick some butt, but we should do what he said instead. <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> mm. 
I can create a diversion in front of the glacier. I just need someone to operate its rear cannon. Woo! I'll do it. Okay. Oh. Anyone else? There's like, Woo! someone oh, else? <laughs> Anyone? Please? <laughs> no. Oh, all right. <laughs> dude, this is like, so dude. I've always wanted to be battle buds with you happening howlers. Oh. Uh, dude, Felix I sense fugacity between us. That's because I'm a wolf, and you're a gorilla! Oh, major bummer, this is just a minor snag in the groovy tie-dye tapestry of tonalness. Say what? And that's exactly why I was hoping someone else would ride with me. Oh, oh dude, you're such a dude. <laughs> I, I can't tell if that was meant to be good or bad. <laughs> Sorry, are my friends bothering you? <laughs> A little privacy, please. Weird. Yeah. You gonna freeze me too? Of course not. Mm. If you feel my freeze, how will you ever feel my heart? Huh? <sighs> I know it can't be easy to be in the presence of one so handsome, so powerful, so wow. larger than life. Oh, really? But with practice. You will be able to handle my overwhelming magnetism. Uh, you will see me not just as your mighty hunter monarch, but as a husband. <laughs> a better half, the noble king to your loyal queen. I don't you think so. You want me to be your queen? Sithanga, <laughs> the bridal containment carriage is ready. <laughs> Splendid. Remove my future queen from here until our nuptials. What? <laughs> I'm not marrying you. You do not have a choice, Lioness. Every proper king needs a queen, and you shall be majestic. You have got to be kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Lavelle, I know I told you to never leave Blinks alone, but are you sure you want to bring him right to the creep who's trying to capture him? That's a very good point. Lyle is like a sister to me. She cared for me when I was little, and now I'm oh. still little. <laughs> she cares a lot, and so do I. <laughs> I'm not letting Frostface freeze her. I'm getting Lyle back! Whoa! Blinks! Your wings! <laughs> Sweet blazes! <laughs> I guess he'll be okay. Yeah, that's a very good point. It would drop any moment. Break it, break it, break <laughs> it. <laughs> break it. Uh, Psycho, bring me that telescope. No. I like it. No, don't. Hey, give that back. <laughs> Ew, yuck. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh no! I told you, that place is crazy. Just be quiet and aim the cannon. Groovy. <sighs> Poor guy. Buddy, I'm hitting the caverns for some recon. Stay frosty, stay on. <laughs> What's this doing here? <laughs> oh no! <gasps> Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> now, I want all of you to rest for my wedding. It's a uh, big day for me. Uh, just wait until ah, we get out of here. Elder Lion, perhaps you can give the bride away. <clears throat> yeah, hmm. right. What was Ooh, that? I think I felt the ground move. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you're in love. Oh, ow. Oh no! Uh, going over! Ow! Uh oh! Uh -oh. 
Ow. That must hurt. Huh? Look out! Got the smell. Oh. Happy, happy. Uh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh dear! Oh. Hey look, Vornon! We're safe! Yay! Oh good! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We are never safe. Good point. Uh oh no. Oh. Run! Oh. Here. <laughs> I do have the ability to fly, remember? <laughs> Ow! Oh. Not the snout! Again! <gasps> what happened? Who's steering this mountain anyway? Weavers. They tricked us. We will be slightly delayed. But I have a wedding to plan. And a city to destroy. We can create more ice to lift ourselves out of the canyon if we don't have any distractions. Mm. Oh look, a distraction! <laughs> Fire! Hey, uh, can someone give me a hand, please? Feel our freeze now! Uh oh. Heavy, incoming heavy fire! Ooh! Wah! Yo! Ah. Ah. Yo! That's a distraction! Let's just rescue our friends and family! Fujima! Charge! Suspended precariously over a deep canyon. I think that Can is you no. Melt this whole thing? I don't plan to find out. Now let's find Lyama. Yo. Fire. Ah. Oh. You, you are one righteous battle bud. Oh. Do battle buds have to speak? Totally. Buds without babble are like bananas without skin. <laughs> I hate bananas. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Whoa! I hate plants! I hate plants! That's how nature shows us its love! <laughs> okay! Oh no! Ooh. Oh. Uh, sorry for that! <laughs> what, are you okay? You tree. Can we hug trees later? <gasps> Dude! My sock! I lost this ages ago! Thank you, Groovy Tie Guy Tapestry of Tallowness! What? <laughs> There, fire! Oh. Will someone stop that dog and baboon show? <laughs> I need my most powerful fighter. I'm on it, Sharpenga. Uh, who was that? I was actually talking about Mungus. <laughs> oh, Mungus make the hurting now! Happy, happy! <sighs> Safe at last! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kovar's map said the trophy room is over here. Hmm. Holy Kovora! Look at them all! Dad! Mom! Where are you? Don't worry, I can handle this. Oh, good. Thanks! Hold on! Uh oh. Yo. <laughs> Yay! Oh, good. Not even the ice can contain his fame. <laughs> hey, will you keep it down? We're trying to sleep here. Ugh. Mom! Dad! Greg! What... what happened? Ugh. Long story! We gotta get you uh -oh. out of here before this whole mountain melts! What mountain? And why is it melting? Uh... Dad! Are you okay? I... I think so. Oh! I am so glad to find you! Yo. I was so worried, and I missed you! Oh yeah, and I never want to be king. <laughs> uh oh. Ah! Ow! Scorp? The scorpion king? Mm. Time to squish! Yeah! 
Ow! Um... Stand down, stranger. Oh, I think I was no. Hold that thought, handsome. I'll ravish you in a moment. Yeah. But first, beauty to fall battle. <laughs> Some of these guys hate us! Oh. Great! No. That's too kind! Oh. How I feel about you. Uh. But we're here to rescue everyone! Uh. Yes! Oh. You're always helping! Like when you just gave me that orb of chi instead of fighting oh. me! Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, right. That's what we do in Chiba. Uh. Uh. Well, I was so mad! I accidentally shared all my cheese with these ice breaks. Oh. And then they froze us all. Oh. And that's my fault? Oh, enough of this. Yeah. Attack his, please. Yeah, I'm kind of with her on that one. Um, uh, can we work this out later? We're kind of the situation here. <laughs> hey, check out my flower power, dude. No decorating, dude. It's like, uh, it's futile to fight that fleet there. <laughs> Oh, well, that was short-lived. <laughs> I thought you said no decorating. Uh, guys, look out! Ow. Not happy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh dear. Wow. Uh, Stop messing with my wife, Queen Crunket. Oh. Uh. And that's for messing with my husband, King Chrominus. Roar! This is for messing with Shiva! Uh oh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh boy, they're bad. There's a lot of pent up aggression there, don't you think? Yes, there no is! I've never seen them fight like that before. So, should we help them? No, I just think they're doing okay on their own. Nah, I think they've got this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they could use some help though. Mungus make the hurting now. Yes, he will. Oh look! <laughs> Yay! Mungus make the snow play? <laughs> We're supposed to be helping with this secret attack on your ice mountain, but <laughs> we're until we see that croc flare. Yeah, so why not? Snow bro! <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait a minute, a secret attack! Oh, oh no. <laughs> no playing! Stop this! Do the hurting now! Huh? Uh, uh, ow! 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 How do we keep these bugs from buckets? Oh, I can handle that too! Oh, you no. can? Thanks. No, not again! What are you doing? You broke this whole place! Uh oh. Oh dear. Ugh. Everyone move it! Faster! Uh, time for strategic control! Oh! Huh? What is happening here? Your mouth is coming apart! Not my trophies being flushed away! Oh dear. Ooh. to me oh, all the time we spent standing around chatting just chilling out <laughs> oh. <coughs> hmm? huh? what a wonderful surprise <laughs> the phoenix child i would trade my entire collection for you no. 
Looks like that's what you've done. Except I'm not your trophy. I'm Yo. just here for Lyella. But she's about to become my queen. Hmm. She's off preparing for our wedding right now. But I'd be happy to take you to the ceremony as my trophy. I'll give you a trophy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh dear. Uh, I bet you this is gonna be bad. Blinks, you're melting everything. This will be a puddle in a second. Yes, a puddle. I plan to call my trophy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Grab him. Our fire team will protect us from his heat. <laughs> Good point. Hurry! This mountain's going down! Uh, run! <laughs> uh, that was close. Lyella. <gasps> no! Thanks. Back to their villages and their legend beasts. Yo. And then we have a wedding to crash. Yo. <laughs> As always, thank you to hardworking people who work so hard on the show. Roar! <laughs> it's a great day in Chiba. Roar! I still have a feeling it's not quite over yet. <laughs> Yo, but wow, that's. I didn't expect that to happen. Yo. So that was a very slippery slope, and whoa, that wasn't what I was expecting at all. <laughs> that almost felt too easy. This is kind of been the problem with this conflict in Chiba. It keeps going back from one side is winning massively to the other side winning massively, and. Wow, I didn't expect that we were going to be able to just do that. Oh, we destroyed this crazy uh, ice mountain thing. And we did it without flooding half of Chiba, so... Roar! Yeah, I anticipate this episode was going to be... They were going to try to climb the ice mountain, but then they were going to kind of get stuck on it because that's kind of what happened the last time. They tried to scale the ice mountain... And instead, they kind of just like, whoa. <laughs> but I guess speed doors don't have this limitation, so. Rawr. Whoa, there was in some ways a lot going on in this episode. And the more and more I watch this, the more and more I dislike Sir Fangor. <laughs> He's just so creepy. Wow, could you say full of himself? He's like the best guy like ever. <laughs> wow, they managed to destroy the ice mountain, rescue everyone in the trophy room. Although, unfortunately, Lyella is still captured and still in danger of marrying the worst guy, like, ever. <laughs> it's still not quite endgame, because I know there's still a couple episodes left. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely a pretty bad blow for the Ice Clan, because they've lost basically their main base. It's like, yeah, victory was inevitable. But now that victory has been completely demolished with the, the destruction of their Ice Mountain. I actually really liked this idea. I'm gonna lay this trap for them and that was actually a really good way to do this and does solve this problem that they stated that oh if they just melt the ice mountain it'll like flood half of chiba well now in theory if it does melt it's gonna you know, fill that canyon and won't hopefully flood half of chiba and we got to free everyone which was a big surprise i didn't think we we're gonna be doing that quite yet and unfortunately also freed the crawlers who unfortunately were not <laughs> Very happy to see the uh, tribes of Chiba. I feel bad for Laval there. It's like, yeah, you giving me that tree instead of fighting me for it made me really mad. It's, oh, really? Giving you tree made you angry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now that's an interesting dilemma because yeah, now they've basically brought back the crawlers. The question is, what are the crawlers going to do? Are the crawlers going to go back 
to you know where they came from or are they going to you know fight the tribes of Chiba, or are they going to possibly team up with the hunters now? But you don't like the tribes of Chiba, we don't like the tribes of Chiba. You know what? We have the same basic goal in mind. How about we team up? But I'm pretty sure that won't uh, end well regardless, so hmm. Yeah, I think the Ice Cut and the uh, Crawlers are gonna team up because it's really in their best interest to at this moment. It's also, if the Crawlers wanted to take the revenge against Chiba, it's pretty obvious with the return of the Phoenix that they're actually going to need help from the Ice Clan because I think the Crawlers cannot take on Chiba and the Phoenix at the same time that might be the other like turning point where it's like okay now we've sort of defeated the ice clan but now they've teamed up with the crawlers like now the crawlers and the ice clan are a big threat again <laughs> Oy, and, but again some ways such is the nature of warfare another big thing is flakes almost forging his fire wings which was both good and bad. I mean, yeah, this is helping us, but this is also uh, not helping us at the same time because it kind of reminds me of a thing for the time. It was a bad idea to try the melt the mountain, especially when you're inside the mountain. <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting question. What is it that's actually fighting his spark? When I think about it, this may actually be a bad thing. He's kind of trying to mimic in some ways uh, Sir Fangar. I'm going to make a trophy out of this mountain, kind of the way that Sir Fangar is. I'm going to get trophies out of all my defeated enemies. Me, so this could be a bad thing. It could also be a good thing that maybe he's finding his spark. It's like, no, you will not hurt Lyella, or I will put an end to this. Roar! I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go back and watch it a few more times before I think it's clear to me what is the spark that he's actually finding. But that was kind of cool. It's like he's starting to forge his fire wings. So. Roar. At the same time, I have to agree that it was probably not a good idea to bring the person that Sir Fangar wanted to capture the most. Because if this goes badly, you've basically handed him to Sir Fangar. That would be bad. But at the same time, having all these Phoenix powers definitely aided them. And I don't know if they would have been able to do this without him. But even if they had, it definitely would have been a lot harder. So overall, this was, I think, in a way, a shocking episode. In that a lot of stuff happened all at once. And I really didn't think that we were going to do that. I really didn't think that this was going to be a win, especially since the whole idea is, okay, we're going to sneak in with the small force. Uh, I, I think you should bring everyone. If we're going to, like, attack this mountain, why don't we just attack it now? <laughs> But uh, in some ways, that's all that was really necessary. Because, yeah, all the uh, captured people were really bad. They definitely had a, a lot of repressed anger that they needed to unleash upon their enemies. <laughs> in some ways, that was kind of cool, too. With a lot of these characters, yeah, like the Croc royalty, they've been, you know, imprisoned multiple times over the uh, seasons. It's like about time that they got a little payback. So, <laughs> but yeah, but overall, yeah, this episode was definitely uh, very busy. And there was a lot going on and yeah even again you know we had the whole thing with uh was it grow god and uh the the wolf guy it's like what a combo it's like uh i'm glad that you guys are having this very philosophical discussion in the middle of a battle but shouldn't you be focusing more on the battle <laughs> i'm just surprised that shiva actually won here especially since the last time where it's like yeah we barely repelled the ice clan now we've destroyed their crazy ice mountain and wow and it's like we freed all the prisoners and the crawlers which is good and bad it's like yeah we freed the prisoners but we also freed the crawlers who will probably end up teaming up with the ice clan and uh, that'll be be mean that will cause even more trouble and uh Lyella is still out there unfortunately waiting to be married to sir fagar and uh, this was definitely a very important episode but there's a lot going on. A lot of things that just make me go, whoa. But uh, I guess overall it was okay. I kind of liked it. It was definitely exciting to say the least. But uh, it may have been busy. But overall it was uh, really good. They liked it. So, rawr. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out.